Royal Tenenbaums, Wes Anderson's film about a family that knows a cowboy. Here's some trivia that's sure to change the way you watch the Royal Tenenbaums forever. Anderson loosely based the movie on one time when he was a kid and Gene Hackman talked to him through a fence. How do you do? <laughs> Not too well. I'm dying. Ben Stiller was cast to play Chaz Tenenbaum solely because Chaz is known for having a BB pellet stuck in his hand, and coincidentally, Stiller was born with an incredibly small third testicle in between his knuckles. Ho <laughs> ho! Chaz, let me finish. If you listen closely, you might be able to hear an old man blathering on about what he thinks is happening in the movie. Royal Tenenbaum bought the house on Archer Avenue in the winter of his 35th year. Over this is Wes Anderson's granddad, who went insane after smelling a glass of expired milk Ethylene while visiting the Tenenbaum set and wouldn't stop talking during shooting. Four years later, Margot disappeared alone for two weeks and came back with half a finger missing. Anderson masterfully threw in a couple pages from the Harry Potter books throughout the film so people who didn't like it would have something to read. It didn't seem believable to me. The deep hues of black and white in this scene really show off the precise color palettes Anderson is known for in his films. Can't somebody be a shit their whole life and try to repair the damage? Roger Ebert liked the movie so much, his entire review was just the words, movie has nice, which is probably a good thing. Anderson is famous for his incredible attention to detail, like in this scene where he hired a man who looks exactly like Gene Hackman to stand opposite of him so he could make the shot as symmetrical as possible. I always wanted to be a Tenenbaum, you know? Brothers Luke and Owen Wilson realized they were related for the first time after comparing penises on the set of the Royal Tenenbaums and agreeing that they looked pretty similar. Mordecai, Richie Tenenbaum's pet hawk, was played by three different birds and one incredible rat. Jiminy Crickets, that damn bird must have radar in its brain. Anderson included this scene where Richie screws up cutting his hair so bad he tries to kill himself as a way of reminding people that they should probably just go to the barber to get a haircut. I don't think you're an asshole, Royal. I just think you're kind of a son of a bitch. Well, that's all the Royal Tenenbaums trivia I've got for now. Hopefully you learned something new about this classic Wes Anderson flick. Thanks for watching!